Hi everyone, welcome back to Liberty Park Music. Today we'll be checking out a song called Say You Won't Let Go by James Arthur. It's a very simple four chord song, so you should have no problem learning this song at all. So we're going to add some slaps and some slap strums as well, just to make it a little bit more difficult. As usual, if you have any questions about the video lesson, just reach out to us and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Alright, let's jump right in. Okay, before we get into the chords for this song, the first thing you want to do is grab a capo and place it on the third fret if you want to play this song in the same key as the original recording. If you don't, you can always just take it away and just play it um, without the capo. Alright, so here are the four chords that you'll need. They are very simple. It's a G major. I like to play my G major like this. And then you have a D major, which is more like a D power chord because you're not you're not going to play the first string. And then an E minor 7, which is an E minor but with this note on the second string, and a C major. So once again, G major, D major, E minor 7, and C major. All right, now let's check out the right hand picking pattern. Um, so the pattern is going to be the same all the way throughout the song, um, except for the C major chord. So once again, the chord progression goes G, then D, and then E minor 7, and then a C major. So for the G, D and E minor 7, you're going to play the thumb on the 1 and then the uh of 1, so 1 E and uh, 1 E and uh, and then on the 2 end, so 1 E and uh, 2 and. On 2 end, you're going to play these three fingers for the G. And then on the Three and you're gonna play your thumb again, and on the four you're gonna play the third string. So and then same thing for the D major, but just instead of playing the sixth string, you're gonna play the fourth string with your thumb. Same thing for the E minor seven, thumb on the on the sixth string, and then for the C major seven. On the four count, instead of playing the third string, you're gonna play the second string and do a pull off. So you're gonna pull off from the first fret to the open string of the second string, and then you're gonna play the third string. So the next thing to notice is the moving note throughout the entire song. So there's a moving note on the second string So you're just basically going to play the note on the 2nd string, then play the open string for all the chords, except for the C major. So, same thing for the D major. Same thing for the E minor 7. And then you do, don't do it on the C major. But you do the pull-off lick. So the whole thing a couple of times.
thank you for watching. If you want to check out the full video lesson, please visit libertypunkmusic.com where we have online guitar courses available for streaming 24-7. Our courses are for beginners all the way to advanced players and we have courses like intro to guitar, jazz guitar, and we have song lessons as well so you can learn your favorite songs. So if you want to try out Liberty Park Music for free for 30 days, sign up with us today.